Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over how to install OpenHabian version 1.5. Now recently, as of June 2019, the Raspberry Pi 4 was released. Now, up until yesterday, OpenHabian did not support Raspberry Pi 4, but now that they have, as of August 5th, uh, we're going to be able to download it right now. So let's go ahead and get into Google. We're going to search up Open. Habian version 1.5. We're going to go into our releases on GitHub and we're going to go ahead scroll down here to the image.xz file. Now the image.xz file is readable by uh, Belina Etcher which I'm going to show you next. Belina Etcher.io all right, here we go. This is software that you're going to have to download to be able to flash onto an SD card, as most of you know. We're going to be selecting an image, selecting the SD card, and then flashing it directly. Now you can download based on Windows or Mac. Be careful to select which one you need to have. As soon as you've got that ready, you've got to go into Google again, and you've got to look for the SanDisk SD card formatter. you've got that, what you're going to do is just scroll down, download SD card formatter tool. Select that and scroll down. This shows you all of what is supported and you can either choose Windows or Mac. Select what you've got to do, get, get it done. Now once you've got that ready, it's time to move into the SD card formatter and you get to select what media you need to overwrite sorry not overwrite you need a format now be careful here not to select overwrite format the default selection is quick format so leave that alone it's already set to FAT32 or whatever it is once you're done with that once you've formatted your card make sure it is selected up here for me that's my default but make sure you have selected it if it does not automatically select Next, you're going to go to Belina Etcher. Belina Etcher is going to take you all the way to this point. And earlier, remember this interface? That's the same interface you're going to get. Right now, I'm letting it flash through, so I'll circle back to you guys as soon as this is done. And as you can see, guys, we have completed the etch to the, or the flash to the SD card. So on to the next step. All right, guys, now that we have booted up OpenHabian, and we've let it run through on our Raspberry Pi. You're going to want to wait 15 to 45 minutes so that OpenHabian can do what it needs to do. It can go to the internet and it can download whatever files it needs to do and get it set up and ready. Now, for all of you noobs out there, I'm going to suggest that you just configure OpenHab through uh, a monitor and a keyboard. Just connect uh, a monitor to the micro HDMI and connect a USB keyboard onto the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now this is this is an easier way for all of you noobs, you weathered professionals. I, I don't even know why you're watching this video. But moving on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when OpenHabian prompts you, you're going to want to type in the password and username or username and password. It's going to be OpenHabian. O P E N H A B I A N. That's going to be both the username and the password. Once you're going to log in, you're going to see this screen that I've displayed and it's going to say OpenHabian in big letters. Now that is your prompt uh, to for your next step. Your next step is going to be finding out exactly what your uh, IP address is. Now, how are you going to do that? You're going to well, you're going to do that by finding out what command to use. Uh, you're going to use hostname dash capital I. Sorry, I couldn't see it for a second. So hostname dash capital I. I'm going to post it up on the screen here so that you can see it a little bit easier. Now, once you put that in, you're going to be able to see an IP address for your Raspberry Pi. That is what you're going to use to be able to connect to OpenHab and install a version of OpenHab 
whether it's for a professional, for a beginner, or somewhere in between. So let's get to it. All right, guys. It's time for the next step. We're going to have to install OpenHab and choose which version we'd like to use. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into Google, and we're just, well, we didn't really have to use Google, but this is what we're going to do. Remember that IP address we got earlier from the Raspberry Pi? We are going to type it in. Put colon 8080. And that's going to take you to open hab setup. Now, these are a couple of options available to everybody. I'm going to suggest that the noobs go with demo. If you're an expert, clearly you take expert, you take standard, or if you just want simple, no programming at all, you can go with simple. I, however, I'm going to go with demo just because that's the best way to go about it. This is all of our log viewer. It's going to show exactly what's going on, uh, what's uh, being connected, all of that. Ignore that. Then we've got open happy and help. You have any problems with installation, this is where you're going to go. Of course, I'm going to leave all of the links below, so don't even worry about it. I'll include links for SSH setup, our Raspberry Pi prepackaged SD card image setup, everything. Catch you on the flip side.